Rocker Pat here. All right, guys, my new axe. I got that about a week or so ago, and I guess it's been about a week and a half. You can see my greasy fingerprints on it, and I done did broke it. I done did broke my baby E string. I think these are lighter gauge strings that I'm used to dealing with, but I sure did pop that. But that's my brand new Randy Rose Jackson. Uh-huh, yeah. We'll be seeing a little bit of this. I got some stuff coming up for this. I like that. How about that? It's got a Pink Floyd going on there. A couple of EMGs or whatever the hell they are. All right, let's see what I got done this weekend. All right, the last time we talked, uh, that had crashed on the floor. And today is Saturday, and I have been working on that, and I have got it this week. Got it in body work, but I'm going to tell you all right now, it's probably going to go back into body work. Let's see if we can get it. I'm sure y'all can see that divot that's right about right there uh, where I didn't get it just right. See it right there? It is right in that spot. Uh, probably going to go ahead and, yeah, there's a good view of it. And I know what happened. Uh, I put some epoxy down and there must have been still some pits in my little pinholes in my bondo that I had right here. So I kind of put the epoxy on pretty thick and then decided I was gonna do a little wet sand and smooth it all out and get, get it all down to where I needed to get the, I had a little undulation going on there. And ran into a little bit of problem and then this morning after letting it sit overnight, I hit it with a DA and I probably dug down too deep right there. So probably what's gonna happen is, I don't know, I'll figure out which way I'm gonna go on it, but I will definitely get that. Uh, I'm not happy with that at all. But I did get it where we're at least somewhat, we don't, we got a little bit of the bend that goes this way, but we're not, we're not just, you know, caved over like we were. And got it, got the paint blended in, back in. So I think it's gonna be all right. I'm just not real happy with that, that massive crater right mm, there. Right there is where it's at. It's right, right, right there. Anyway, so we got some other things painted. Since I was painting red, I got out the uh, hood latch under the hood uh radiator cover shroud cover whatever we want to call that but i got that in the red that it needed to be and these are our little discussion panels for our uh i'm calling them discussion panels filler panels or whatever we want to call them between the bed goes on this side the cabs right here the rear fenders right here and the running boards down here so i got those in paint those came out looking really nice i'll give those a quick wet sand with some uh 1200 some 2000 run the buffer over those those will look real nice down there next to that white so we got all that done and the other thing i got done today happy to say is the two marks well on this one i had a little bit of a repair to do where i kind of burned through my edge right there on the really right here on the bottom i mean literally right there probably could have just touched that up with a paintbrush but since i was having to repair anyway i just went ahead and hit that with a little white and then gave it a little clear bath out and same thing over here where i hit my air hose going right across here i did get me a little bit of a hanger downer right there but i'll fix that i'll run a razor blade over that and then polish that right out good thing it's white so it's not going to show up a lot and i did the same damn thing over here i was shooting with my little gun Sometimes, you know, uh -huh, I just make excuses. What the hell can I do? But anyway, it's been a productive day over here at Metal Health. We've been rocking it down, getting them down, getting ready to send this bad boy downtown. Well, let's see what do I have left to do. I got to get these reconditioned and painted inside and out. And, oh yeah, uh, all four of the fenders have to be undercoated on the inside too. Uh, the running boards have to be painted on the bottom side. And I went and bought, well... Let's stay over here for a minute. I gotta get those done on the inside and outside. I've got, uh, before I put the front clip on, I have to change these springs because it's still sitting too low. And 
I got to get these three spars right here painted. And up there, let's see if we can see it. Wrapped up in those fender covers is the back panel. I need to get that polished. And I don't know if you can see it, but this panel right here, I don't know if you're looking, if we got it right or whatever. I got to get that off the bumper. And I got to get it in cream white because that's going to tie the two front fenders together in cream white down here. And back there in that corner, since almost day one, is a brand spanking new grill in a box. And I'm not going to lie to you, this guy right here is going to be real happy when that box is no longer sitting over there in my way. Just saying. Anyway, uh, that's what I got left to do. These are the two biggest major things and then the deal up there. I went and got sand from my little sandblasting pot. That one right there in the corner. 200 pounds of sand. I think that was $14 for two bags. If you're buying it at Harbor Freight, you're buying it at the wrong spot. Just saying. So anyway, guys, I've been rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking over here. I don't know if y'all see my, my little painting out in the sun. There you go. There's your little painting action going on there, too. About ready to do the final polish on that one, too. All right, guys. Y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking, and I'm going to keep grinding it down over here. Talk to y'all next time.